Hello everyone, Reggie Time here with another live play video. This time we are hitting the PLO streets of Sky Poker. Um, I'll explain why as we get into the video. I guess we have to go with this on table three. Expect to be behind a lot to aces, but we just got probably too many outs with our two pair outs and shit. <laughs> Did not get there, but never mind. Check back my jacks here on the river. Might be missing value, feels a little bit weak, but um, yeah, we we'll check back anyway. And we win. See about my aces and my good shot on table two. Pair, straight draw, flush draw. Not in love with any of my draws, but for 120 we'll try and make a hand. Now we're going to fold. I don't think any of our draws are strong enough. The board's paired as well now, so. Makes things a little bit less exciting. We're going to be high carded a lot here, I guess, but we can flop a lot of two pairs and just say fuck it and go with it, I presume. It's going to lead out here. Do not want to be giving any free cards on this board. If we're behind, then I guess we're going to lose all our money. And he does have a draw. And we fill up. Beautiful. Never know quite what the fuck's going on in Pirlo when the board's running out. Um, it's always nice when you hit the nuts because um, you know which way the pot's going to be shipped. Four bet in the double suited aces, table one against Chalky, who used to be a no limit regular. Not sure what's going on with this PLO game, but whatever. We get up against. Another set of aces, another pair of aces, no green ones please. And does he win with two pairs there? Yeah, that's quite annoying. That's quite annoying. But um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to bet my king's here just for a little bit of protection. Now we fill up so we don't need to protect anymore, but we're now going to bet for value from a flush. So yeah, we're playing PLO because they're running a promotion at the moment. It wasn't too bad Monday, Tuesday. I think there's some technical issues, but since then... No limit games have been like kind of regular heavy. It's just a Friday afternoon, about three o'clock ish. Um, there's not much going on, and um, I made a PLO video not so long back, and some of you guys requested more PLO content. So, um, thought why not just play some PLO on Sky, make a video out of it. Hope to run good. Hope to do okay. Um, and just have more fun than sitting at empty no limit tables for ages waiting for a fish to sit and then four eggs to swoop it's kind of if i'm going to burn sky lot this year which is my intention because that's where you're going to find some of the biggest morons um then i'm going to need to get my head around the fact that sky frequently run rake races under different fucking guises it's going to do my head in it's going to annoy me um but it might also get me playing more PLO against some of the worst PLO players in the history of PLO. So there might be some good in it. There might not be. Who knows? But um, since 
poker isn't much of a part of my income anymore. Um, as long as I don't go fucking broke, it doesn't matter too much if we don't make any money. So let's just see. I didn't realize I flopped two pair on this board, but never mind. Now we're just going to check for the river. Good shot on very little else on table two. We're not going to fire receive it into someone who doesn't appear to enjoy folding really much. We've turned the straight. Nothing much to protect against. I mean, if he's there with the flush, he's there with the flush. I guess we're just going to bet fold this river now. Yes, queen six was not a very good hand but we do have the button and we have someone who we expect to probably have a decent edge against in the blinds and bluff this river don't think it's going to work too often we're trying to get him to just fold any like medium pocket pairs like pocket sixes with XX and stuff like that. Do not expect him to fold anything remotely decent, probably not even a 10. Excellent PLO8 PLO8 hand, probably playable against this guy. We flop. Looks like a decent draw. We make a straight on the turn. And then the back door flush hits the river. Again, I think this is just a pretty clear bet fold. Maybe just be a check for them, not sure. Maybe it was just a check fold. Never mind. Not going to work. We, we could try and isolate here, but we're only going to be raised to a pound. We're going to get at least two callers, I would imagine. So um, let's not bother. Let's just see a cheap flop and go from there You won't see me doing very much three betting at all in these games. Um, probably just with like absolute super primo stuff. And very little else. very little here on table two but we do have some potential i guess and it looks like mr blue pipe probably doesn't have too much wind doesn't see about that board could be wrong of course now we've improved to pretty big straight draw i think have we i think we have uh 
Uh, I'm going to presume this guy's just got a set. And I think we've probably just got the odds to call here, so whatever. I hope to get lucky. And we did. And I completely lost focus on table three. Um, not entirely sure what happened on that. You might want to rewind back and look at it if you're interested. I think, did he have top two pair? And he like check called the flop, check, shoved, check, bombed the turn, which I don't know if it's good or bad. It seems reasonable enough, I guess, on a dry board. Um, we have the nuts on table two now against the same player. Fucking pot it. See this Mr. Blue Pie playing quite a lot of PLO. I'm going to presume he's not bad at it. Um, whether he's actually good or not, he's, I have no fucking clue. But I remember playing him at No Limit Holden and if he is in these games now and making decent money at them, then I'm going to assume that they wouldn't be the toughest games on earth. And I mean, no disrespect to the guy at all with that, but he didn't strike me as someone who's like a super highly skilled poker player for for like relative to the limits. Um, Chalky, I remember being a pretty decent no limit player. I haven't seen him at the no limit tables for a long time. If it's the same, player, it might not be. Um, the Chalky Animal was from Yorkshire. I'm not sure where Haywood's Heath is, to be honest. It could just be a different part of Yorkshire. Might not be the same guy. Who knows? Table three starting to shape up a little bit now. Two flopped pretty crap straight draw and a pretty crap two pair. We're not going to be getting over excited on this board. Because if the pot starts getting big, then my guesses would be in deep, deep doo doo. I think one of the biggest leagues most PLO players have, and what I certainly used to have and possibly still do have, is he will overplay weak made hands in a, either an attempt to protect them or to get value. I'm not sure what, but um, overplaying marginal hands, marginal to weak hands, and like, especially from like a no limit perspective, so they'll be like, you know, um, in no limit bottom two pound, that board is when you'd be willing to play super fast. Um, in PLO, not so much, and I think it's uh, definitely one of the biggest leagues of most PLO players. Because let's face it, almost every PLO player will have come from a no limit background, uh, so I think like overplaying mediocre made hands and weak draws are certainly going to be some of the biggest leagues that, that low stakes pot limit Omaha players are have, maybe even higher stakes ones. Who knows? Uh, we're pairing a shit draw here, but the, we can't fall for this price. It's too good a price. On table three, we do not get there. But for 45 pence, um, I can handle it. These are the sort of hands I really like, but. Um, position we're just going to 
again, this call, we, we could have tried to pot it there and isolate. Chances of us actually achieving isolation, probably very slim. And now we have the nuts. And I'm not going to risk him just betting 20 pence again. Do not like this dangler too, but we're still going to try and play the 8, 9, 10 in position against a green tag. That could be a pretty shit call, to be completely honest. Certainly wouldn't make it anywhere other than the button. If it checks through again, we're certainly going to take a stab. It doesn't check through that. This table too doesn't seem like a particularly good table now. You go and walk. I don't, I don't think he's any good, but I don't think he's like a drooler. Um, Chalky is just a, a regular of some description, as is Mr. Blue Pie. So uh, I think we can just play this. I think it's, again, it's a little bit loose. The offsuit six really hurts us quite badly, I guess. But we're going to be in position, and we're going to flop some mega strong draws. We're not fucking. We're going to fast play. We have a nut flush draw, top pair, and nut good shot. It's more than willing to get all the money in, in this situation. There's the nuts on the turn. Not the best of run outs for us on table. Um, two. I mean, maybe I've missed value there. I don't know. Seems like there's a chance of missed some value there, but um, I don't know. For sure. I'm a long way off knowing for sure anyway. Maybe we could have made like a small value bet for, to get value from like trips and things, but I'm not going to pretend I'm a good pot limit my player. All you need to be is good enough to beat the games you're in, though, doesn't it? It's all you need to be. And I'm not even sure I am. I think I'm certainly good enough in ta on table three. Table two, far from a sure. LMFAO all in. He's a regular as well. Um, and this table here, I don't know. I'm sure I could find better tables, let's put it that way. We're not sure we can find better tables because I'm at all three tables, but I'm sure there'd be softer tables. If we played Pot Limit Omar every day, she would find softer tables than this in the end, but um, it is what it is at the moment. The call with his two pairs. I'm not going to raise, of course. It feels like we're just going to get re raised by straights, and nothing which good else is going to happen best your friend probably just has the nuts um, this could be a bit loose this three bet on table two but we're going to make it anyway we're going to call with our ace queen and hope to make the nuts i guess are we we do not make the nuts And we're lucky enough to flop. Well, not the nuts, but flop something we're going to have to go. Oof. So he used to have the 9 8, does he? Does he just have the 9 8? I mean, we're just going to stack off against Mr. Blue Pie here. But I didn't want to raise and have chalky fucking jam on me and put me in a real puke spot against Mr. Blue Pie. We're just going with it now. And if he's got the 9 8, which I think is. Quite likely. And he's just going to get to win. He didn't. He just had the other kind of thing he might have had. So we're running pretty good. Yeah, they had like a really big flush draw there. Uh, or, or a combo draw. Or just the 9 8. But um, in a 3 bet pot, you flop a straight. You're just going to go with it, I guess. I 
again, this could be a really weak check back on table one. Um, really not sure what we can get caught by. Sorry for the pause, I didn't miss anything, I just had to sneeze. And you guys don't need deafening with one of my incredibly loud sneezes. We have like incredibly good aces here, we're just going to three bet them. I'm going to hope to hit a flop that is suitable, or even better, just have somebody four bet. Yes, that'll do us nicely. And now all the skill goes out of the game, and we just hope that it's us that ends up on the right side of variance. Queen seven seven. Don't do it this way. Don't do it. Do not do it. That would have pissed me off if the ace queen seven seven got it all in and fucking turned me over. That would have tilted me pretty fucking hard. I would imagine. Um, so what did he do then? He four bet, six bet, jam, shite. Yeah, oh, one three. from Blackpool. Um, I played a lot of poker in Blackpool down the years. I'm not surprised by what I've just seen. Just a 600 big blind stack on table two. Just a casual 600 bigs in front of me. How do you get it in with ace queen seven seven? I have three diamonds and still flop a fucking flush draw. I'm not only a flush draw, was it a royal flush draw? I'm not sure. It might not have been a royal. Doesn't seem fucking fair to me, like. Does not seem fair. You would have just flopped the nuts here, but I mean maybe that's a maybe that falls too nitty pre flop. But I'm out of position with a bag of pear in my hand. Gaps at the top of the run down, if you will. Uh, if it was like seven, if it was like nine, nine, eight, ten, I'd have been probably a bit more inclined to play it. Not going to three. I'm going to three with these shit aces. Yeah, I guess we are because we've got position on the guy who's. Um, I guess we're going to get it in against Lauren for thirty quid and hope not to run disastrously. Definitely have two aces. What well, twenty six quid? That's a set of aces, so I think that should be us. Happy days. <laughs> happy, happy days. Mr. Blue Pie has lost his fucking mind at this point, I think. So we've got here two pairs, put shot straight draw, back door flush draw, it's weak. Guess we need to see a turn here. Don't pot it, please don't pot it. He hasn't potted it. I guess we have to call. Have we got any outs to the nuts? Um, yeah, we've got the gut shot to the nuts, haven't we? Bink. There we go. Is that the nuts? Yes, it is. We just pink the nut shot. Looks like we're going to chop it. Make sure it's definitely the nuts. Jack Queen is definitely the nuts. We have a queen and a jack. Oh, Chalky might be folding. Chalky might be folding. Wouldn't that be fucking marvellous? Yes, Chalky. 
just 700 bigs now 700 800 1200 bigs almost across three tables it's fair to say it's been a reasonable session so far and i'm going to sneeze again So we have top pair, open ender, and back door row flush draw. But well, we're going to start by checking. We do not want to get be getting raised here, really. Turn trips. You can set safeish bet now. We can certainly call the raise. We won't want to be raised, but we can call one. This might be the most profitable video I have ever put out up to now. Probably going to go for another 18 minutes or so. I don't want to get my ass into bed for an afternoon lie down before the wife comes back and starts irritating me. Certainly the biggest stack I've ever done a video in terms of big blinds. I know that much for sure. I guess LD Double City Kings is going to be a hand I'm willing to play for all of his £12.80. So we flop trips, pocket kings, not flush draw, let's go. I guess the pocket kings aren't really worth a pinch of shit now, but we don't need them to be worth much when we've got so much everything else going on. Jack, Jack, seven, eight in rough shape. And we drag another one down. Almost forgot table three existed. Had the black sheep of the family. Fucking mega stacks at the other two and the exact buying at table two. Table three, you fucking waste of time, table three. And you call with the ten ten nine seven. Not a particularly good flop was certainly gonna end be folding for that eight pounds bet. Just bet our kings for a little bit of protection on table three calls we've now failed to protect our hand because the spade has got there we can check back i hope the king on the river nope run so bad run so fucking bad
Not sure this guy isn't tagged because I'm 99% sure he's a regular from the old No Limit days. Maybe still is a No Limit regular. Who knows? Pretty miserable float for a multi way pot on table three. Continues to fucking be a massive source of disappointment. the candid the green players got um, so we're left with somebody who I've never seen in my life before somebody who's probably doesn't deserve the orange tag because it's just brandy stacked down and doesn't appear to have played particularly well How many points have made this session? Eighty odd points. I could probably win one of them fucking rare races by playing twenty PLO if I put myself in the right league. Might be um Might be an idea. I've had that idea before. And I had like a six by and losing session and decided fuck that idea. But we've just had a god knows what winning session, like at least seven by ins winning session here since the start of the session. So I guess I should just learn to man the fuck up. Pride myself on my mental game. PLO usually gets the better of it after. I think I've never played PLO for more than like five days before. I just thought fuck this bullshit. I don't expect this time to be any different, but we'll see. We have deeper chips here, we could maybe defend this, it's really quite shit though. We have a lot of relatively decent straight potential, but it's not exactly been getting out of line. I expect to probably be facing a lot of C-bets. I mean, these games are looking quite shit now, actually. We might just can the video. Uh, because the whole point of playing Potley Mill Wise isn't to play against reasonably good players. It's to um, it's to find some of the biggest morons on the internet and to hopefully get a shot at some relatively dead money. So, yeah. That isn't the current situation now. We've got this, like... Yeah. I just think we should... Um, call it a day basically we've got, we've got a straight draw it's kind of pretty pretty dirty but it's a wrap is it a wrap even yeah i'm not going to raise with it i'm just going to try and hit a fold here if it barrels we're not going to bet i don't think we're going to try and make our straight and hope it's good I think we should bet actually. I mean, watch when he raises, I'm going to puke and just fold. What put me off is he went for the check raise earlier, didn't he? Yeah, bollocks, Reggie, you fucking muppet. Man, you might save money. Because if you crush now, if you just have a full house and you make you straight, you maybe end up paying off more. Ah, I kind of annoyed that he didn't go with my instincts there, but never mind. And we're going to finish off with the 5, 6, 7, 8. That was a song that, wasn't it? Is it a step song? And we're going to flop the nizzles. Still got the nizzles. We just go with it, don't we? I mean, I guess we just go with it. <laughs> yeah, I have no fucking clue what that person's idea was there, but we'll absolutely take it. That has been a crushing session for us. And um, we've ended up with a 
600 big blind stack and a 750 big blind stack possibly the biggest crushing session i've ever had on video I'm delighted i've caught it um it's not as long as long as i wanted it to be but it's possibly my favorite video i've ever ever made um looking forward to the blog already on monday bye for now